Like this is absolutely incredible. Quieros. Italian cuisine. Hey everyone, welcome back to another food video here in Las Vegas. So today we are actually off the strip. I am at Piero's Italian cuisine. I don't know what I'm doing out here. Let's go inside and eat. I am so hungry. Welcome to Piero's. Thank you. My name is Kylie. I need to try the food here, experience everything, and we have some celebrities that come here from time to time, so you might get a peek at them. Uh, my name is Billy Hutton. I just want to welcome everyone to Piero's Italian Cuisine, a family-owned business since 1982 now. I'm really excited for you guys to go and get to try what we have, uh, the wonderful cuisine that we have. This is a classic, old-school Italian place. The vibe in here, so nice. The casino was filmed here. It's like basically where the scene was shot, and then the corner of the bar over there is basically also where another scene was shot. So all these names on the wall are famous people? Yes, they're famous people friends of the owner. So the owner of this place is Freddie Glussman and he's not here tonight but he comes all the time and his seat is usually right here behind us which is really cool. So we got this awesome booth. I love this brick wall. Let's look at this menu, see what they have and let's get to eating. What are we getting here guys? We're starting with the appetizers here. We got the calamari. What's this? A lemon. And we got the shrimp cocktail over here. Nice presentation on that. And here is a mozzarella fritti, which is fried mozzarella pomodoro sauce. Oh, that could be a slow mo. That could be a slow mo time. Slow mo cheese cutting time. Just a little bit. All right, let's see how this is. It was not lying when you said atomic. It goes right through your nose. But it is so good. That shrimp is so juicy. But I totally forgot to put the lemon on it. Get a piece of the fried mozzarella. Deep fried cheese, can't go wrong with that. But let's see how this sauce is. That's the best calamari I've had. Yeah? Ryan says it's the best calamari he's had. I'm gonna do one without the dip and then try with the dip. Wow, that's, that's cooked perfect. That is like, that is really good. I keep forgetting the lemon though. I like the lemon. Yeah. Gotta have some lemon on it. And I'm gonna try with this sauce, the aioli sauce. There it is. Oh. Mm. Wow. I didn't try it. This takes it to another level. Did you try this? No. Oh my god. Put some lemon, aioli sauce. Amazing. It's, that is the winner of the appetizer so far for me. The texture on it is perfect. It's not like chewy. The, the, the batter on it is not like overpowering. It's a perfect combination. That is a win. Yeah. Ah! Let's try this. Mmm. I want a bucket of this to go swimming in. This is so good. Try that. Guys, how's it going? Tasty. So good. You can't go wrong. All three are fantastic. If you're a calamari fan, you you have to you have to come try it. We got the garbage Caesar salad. So it looks like there's avocado, some shrimp, tomatoes, some parmesan, croutons. How's this salad? Good. That's a really good Caesar salad. I'm gonna try to get a bite with the avocado. The tomato, the crouton. I'm gonna try to get a big bite like that. Mm. I had a Caesar salad with so many things mixed into it, but everything works so well. The it's also, buku. It's not. It's not on the menu, or no, it's not on the menu. Oh, so it's like a special. Yeah, it's a special buku. We have to cook for seven hours. Okay. So you'll run out of it eventually. So osobuco is a veal shank braised in a red wine porcini mushroom sauce. Uh, and it's going to be served uh, with a bed of fettuccine pasta that is braised for about six to seven hours until that meat falls right off the bone. This is the linguine and clams. This is the eggplant parm. I'll have some on Thank you. And then also on there too. <laughs> Might as well. Slow mo pork. Thank you. Veal chop. And it has the bone in. That looks so good. 
the smell is incredible. And the osobuku over here, as he was saying, it's cooked for a long time and it looks so good. But this does sell out. It's not on the menu. It's almost like a secret specialty item. But it looks so good. Now time for some slow-mo veal cutting time. Two slow-mo times in one video? Okay, this this smells so good. Enough enough playing around with slow-mo. It's time to eat more. I didn't even show the sides. These are mushrooms. So these are the portobello mushrooms. I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, but uh, he said this comes out for everyone that is sitting in this area, which is uh, like friends and family and I guess special guests. What is this? Oh, the cream corn. That look. I like cream corn. Mixed veggies. Well, oh, I gotta try this veal right now. It smells so good. I don't know what to say. This is the most perfect veal parm I've ever had. Like this is absolutely incredible. Your favorite restaurant ever? He's not just saying that for the video. No. This is this is <laughs> this is something, guys. This, we're on to something here. Oh my god! I'm, I'm finishing this. This is so good. This is so good. But I want to try the other stuff first, and we're gonna get back to this. So let's switch it over here to the ravioli. So let's see the ravioli here. It's good. It's good. It's very good ravioli too. The alfredo sauce is very creamy. So good. Honestly, this is like the best veal I've ever had. That's my favorite right there. Yeah. I, I, I saw it on Instagram. I was eyeing it for a long time. Like, I gotta get that. Osobuku. Interesting name. You don't need a knife. That looks fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna take this nice big bite of it right here. Oh my god. That is... You guys, you have to come here. Like, at this point, this video's not even done. You have to come here. The veal... In the so good. I'm gonna try the pasta, but at this point, who cares about the pasta? Try, try this, try this. I want it. I want to see what you guys say about this. Like, just you got bigger piece. Don't worry about it. This pasta is okay, but this is the star of the show. And then you got the little fork for the bone marrow. The bone just came off. You like that? Amazing. Like actually amazing. But you haven't had this yet. It is so juicy, tender, the meat falls apart in your mouth. This is incredible. The cream corn with some parm on it, parmesan cheese. This is the best cream corn. Yeah, you, don't have, you don't have to take that corn too far away there, and you keep it, keep it close by. <laughs> Justin, you have some of this too. Where's the best Italian restaurant in Vegas? <laughs> This would be hard to beat. Just let me know what you want. Like, I'm finishing. Uh, whatever, like you guys don't finish, I'm finishing. You got a big chunk, bigger than that. It's your birthday. You got a couple more pieces. <laughs> These two are my favorite. I, I, I keep, I keep going back and forth which one I like better. I honestly can't choose. It's, they're both veal, but so like different textures. I love like the the cheese on it. I love, uh, but I like the flavor on this. I don't know, I can't choose. It's, it's just tough. I would recommend if you're coming with someone, get both and maybe split it. Yeah, this was good. Oh man, okay, a couple more bites. And then you know we have to get some dessert, right? You don't have to. No, we do. The kid moves it and you put it back. This actually is not on the menu too. This is the bone-in veal chop 
Parmesan is $65. This, the Osobuku, is actually not on the menu too, and this is $49. But both fantastic dishes, and you definitely can split it with someone. I recommend getting both of these. He said this is what they're known for, this is a staple here, and I highly recommend it for sure. This is what's on the dessert menu. Our carrot cake with some shaved coconut on top, and we serve it with caramel drizzle at the bottom, five layer chocolate cake, raspberry cheesecake, profiteroles with vanilla cream inside. This one is our chocolate budino, we serve it with whipped cream and cherries on top, chocolate chip cannolis, tiramisu, and our cream brulee with a Nutella base. So each one is $13, so we got a few of them to try. I'm full, but you know, there's always room for some dessert. Cheesecake, cannolis. Oh, we didn't get some ice cream. We're gonna get some gelato too. Okay. They are really treating us amazing here tonight. And also I'm getting a pistachio gelato and then that's it. <laughs> All right, boys, dig in. We have a cannoli over here. Cheesecake. So here is the pistachio gelato and I got the chocolate mousse on this hand. Mm. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice and light. Yeah, it's light. It's not so heavy like the, the cheesy. That is good. Here is the gelato. I like the berries. Light and refreshing. This is a great way to end the meal. This is very nice. Here is the chocolate cake. Chocolate cake is very creamy. I would say like after such a heavy meal, keep it simple and just get the gelato. It's very nice and light. This is a strawberry gelato. That's better. Yeah. Yeah. That's better than this. So this is a raspberry sorbet. This is even better. <laughs> it's so smooth. This is better than that. If you like raspberry. Damn, I don't want the pistachio one now. They're gonna have to roll me out of here. So I've been talking to the manager here and we're gonna try setting something up for you guys when you come. I'm not sure what it is yet. They're gonna give me more details and I will put it in the pinned comment so make sure you go check that out. So definitely come check out Piero's. If you enjoyed this food video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and where should I eat next? I am so full. This place is amazing. Thank you to Piero's for having me. This was very nice. Uh, we had a fantastic meal. I'll see you next time. What'd you guys end up having tonight? We had like everything. <laughs>